the distinguishing mark really was a publicly owned corporation which was not susceptible to government control. Would yeah. you agree? Mm -hmm. Did you have to battle to establish this independence from the government? The first, yes. The, the first um, decision to be taken was whether or not the British Broadcasting Company Limited should have its license extended uh, after its first four years. It had a two-year license, then a committee, which recommended another two years, that's four, and then I felt strongly that it should be turned into a public corporation, the first of its kind. And uh, there was opposition to that, to a considerable extent from one's best friend, Lord Blainsborough, on the commission of that time, was very, very much averse to, to letting the British Broadcasting Company Limited, with a very good record of service, and no control from the trade, which might have been possible, as all the directors were members of the wireless trade. And only the chairman, Lord Gainford, you see, was independent. In other words, the BBC was in the hands of the wireless trade, but they had never dominated um, the policy decisions or anything of that sort. They had left me virtually full freedom of management and allowed me to manage the BBC company in the interests of broadcasting and of the country. But there was a danger that, that uh, the next board of directors might not um, be as broad-minded and far-seeing. And I felt that it should become a public corporation, and I strongly urged that, with the permission of my own board, which was given to their great credit, I think. Yes, but once you'd got the charter, once that was established, mm. did you then ever have to fight the government yes. to make sure that your independence was maintained? Yes. When? Often. In money, in the, the, the financial, that was the, the first that, yes. thing that we came on. As to the introduction of controversy. They gave, they gave me, us, a free hand as to staff. There was no attempt to interfere with salaries. We could pay any salaries we wanted. There was never any attempt to interfere with the, um, what was paid to artists. There was never any attempt to interfere with controversial happenings like the introduction of the Radio Times, nor, still more controversial, the listener, although they very nearly interfered there. The Prime Minister personally, very nearly. That answer your question? Yes.